I thought he was part of your plan, Retaro. There's nothing funny about it. Welcome back to another edition of Tea and Toys. Now this time we've got the Super 7's Ultimate Slithe. It has been a while. It has taken so long for us to get part of Wave 3 of the Ultimate Slither Cuts line. Wave 2 is on its way from what we've been told and so is Wave 4. But we're still waiting for those. But in the meantime, let's have a look at Slide. Okay, now Slide is obviously a very different shaped character to a lot of the others. Like we've had Lionel and Panther very much a use of the old Masters of the Universe uh, classics book, as was Jackoman, who stands a little bit too tall. But here he is, and the box that Slide came with was, I don't know if it's a bit oversized, because one cool thing, you can actually move the tail out of the way a little bit. Um, he's not the tallest character. Like, when they were describing him, I thought Slyther was literally going to be absolutely humongous. And I don't get the feeling that he is that that big of a, of a character. Especially when you get him next to some of the other pieces as well. But let's just go through what Slyther comes with. Obviously, you've probably seen the articulation. It's very much the same as a lot of other Ultimate stuff. Uh, you can move the waist like that, which goes with the tail as well. But it is a bit hindered by the skirt piece. But you get nice articulation on the legs. Oh, it's got the hidden uh, pins technology in there now. It's a shame Panther and Lino don't have that, but I'm not going to be replacing those two pieces anytime soon. But you can get some quite good poses out of Slythe here. Little karate kid pose there. Ooh, karate kid ultimates. Sounds like a damn good idea. There he is. <laughs> Doing a kick. He's, he's leaning on one hand. There he is. Slythe. The, uh, technically first in command of mutants, but second in command when Rotaro's about. So let's have a look at the accessories. And the box. Obviously nice artwork on the back. The original first wave just had a generic picture of all the Thundercats with a little bio, which I believe was repeated from the the tail line. It's a shame that they didn't get individual pieces of artwork, but I think they are re-releasing Lionel and Panthro to go with the um, Thunder Tank. So that means poor old Mumra and Jackalman won't be getting some nice artwork to go with that. But here he is. So, Slythe comes with the axe that the action figure came with, which is quite like a gnarly, obviously very much constructed <laughs> quickly and on the whim as they landed on uh, Third Earth. But what is a shame here is that old um, Mumra, the ever-living version, doesn't currently come with his black sword and his uh, gnarled dagger. But they're the weapons he came with in the toy, so it's weird that giving slides toy weapons, but not Mumra's for the time being. So I guess we'll have to wait for another release of Mumra. Maybe they'll do the purple Mumra with those weapons. But there's that, and then it comes a bit more of a more of a better blacksmithed made axe. I think this is one that does appear in the TV show, I believe. And it comes with a mace. I tend to call this version the mace and the one with the chain a morning star just to help me break them up. And it comes with two claw hands and they have the uh, east-west motion on them. And it comes with an alternate head which is quite reminiscent of Fangman when they did him in Master of the Universe. Now, I was going to get Fangman in this video, but I remembered he is actually stuck and buried in the loft. But I will say, adding these extra faces onto Slythe here is a bit of a task. So, so here is Slythe with the uh, other face on. It's more of a snarling, yes, face, but he goes, yes. Do you actually like both faces on this? This is the one I'm going to display him with. He looks a bit drunk in this one. But all weapons, I think it can hold all weapons fine. Because his hands are quite tight as well. Just hold your hands. Okay. And what I did notice is, actually, is actually my fist hands are quite loose. So not much, not much give on that. And I think it came packaged with the claw hands, so I've had to remove, I can't remember now, 
But yeah, his hands don't stay up too great. And what I did notice is if you haven't got actually the axe has got a similar piece of show that off. If they're not holding sort of the weapon with this section in the hand, it tends to just slip all the way down. Let's show you. Yeah, see look. If that bit isn't in there, it just straight to the bottom. Straight to the bottom. So it doesn't hold like the mace like on the this section very well because it would just slip down. So if you've got to well mine doesn't anyway. I'm gonna pose him a bit differently like that. Tail out about already. Now one thing I was surprised with that out of a lot of the characters, Slide doesn't come with that much compared to say Panthro and Lionel who came with a hell of a lot of accessories. Like there's no laser gun, no gun does Slythe come with. Comes obviously two different axes of the mace, uh, two sets of hands and two faces, but no laser gun. But the good thing there is if you've got the original Panthro and the original Jackalman, you know that there were errors made on them, so you got the additional pack that um, corrected those things. So you can actually give those old Jackalman weapons, the laser guns and stuff, to uh, Slythe here if you wanted to. So you can give him a gun alongside um, Jackalman and Monkey, and I think Monkey comes with a laser gun as well. So I'll try and get this out. So there is Slythe from the Thundercats. Nice big long arms. Just going to give a turn again. Clothing doesn't get too much in the way of the articulation. Nice stiff upper arm joints, probably a bit too stiff now I've done that. But yeah, the wrists, yeah, a bit, bit loose, a bit loose on the wrists. Let's get him next to some other Thundercat characters that have already been released. Mumra, as you can see, like Mumra is currently the smallest Thundercats figure. Slide. It's got the little spines here on the back. Let's give him a little bit more height. But yeah, he's not. The, I thought he's going to be bigger. The character that is very much bigger, to some, probably a bit too big. So we're probably looking at another release of Jackalman further down the line. If what, maybe because of the mistakes that are still on Jackalman, lower legs and whatnot. But we've all heard that story before. So there he is. These are the current released baddies with the Thundercats. Right, that was Slythe with other Thundercat class uh, Ultimates characters. Now let's get Slythe with Master of the Universe Lodar. This is obviously from the class when it was called Classics. Let's move the box out of the way because they're both quite dark. So there he is. Next to Lodar. You can see like the size there. This is the standard Master of the Universe buck more or less. Yeah, different feet. One cool thing actually loader comes with a different mace, so there we go. Because they could have just used that again, you know, not as if it belongs to Mattel per se. It's just a generic looking mace. There he is next to more of the standard Master Universe Buck. Put the loader at the back there. And one character I did actually think Slythe was gonna be as big as I honestly thought Slythe was gonna be much bigger, but it is more wide. But, so here we have Bebop from the Ultimate Turtles line. You can see how much bigger Bebop stands, towers over Slythe here. So that's them sort of facing off against each other. So it fits right in there, right underneath his head. You can see, obviously, Slythe's bulk comes from his shape. He's sort of wide that way, whereas Bebop is wide this way and tall. What do you think of Slythe? Uh, is this something you're going to pick up? Do you want to pick up just the good guy characters from the Thundercats? Myself, I'm going to be getting the Mutants, the Thundercats, and a few other baddies that appeared in the show, and that were also old toys. Don't forget to love, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.